Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some Halloween decorations. Now this video is going to be split into two parts to make it easier to edit and also easier to pick out certain like decorations that you want to build. So the first set of decorations I'm going to build is a, a cauldron. It doesn't really look like a cauldron honestly. There's no black wood side to use brown wood but you know, it's the best I can do. Um, a skeleton and a lone mower running over someone, I guess, like half a body chopped off. And also a very spooky looking ghost, I guess. Kind of looks like a pack man ghost, so that's what I was kind of going for there. I mean, it's a simple decoration to build and it's not really realistic, but you know, it's like the classic spooky ghost thing. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to make the ghost first, it's pretty simple. Okay, so what we first need to do is go and get a post, so go and get a post blueprint there and then place it on the floor there. Then go and get a 1 slash 1 times 1 wedge blueprint and then basically place 4 of them going along there, so place um, 2 there in the middle of the post in like a triangle shape and then flip it and then place the one slash one wedge there and another one slash one wedge there and that's the bottom of the go so you've got like a up down up down up down sorry about the lag i'm not sure why it's been so bad today and then once you've done that go and get a smooth wall blueprint which is four units by four units and then place it on top like that and then go get another one slash one times one wedge like this and then place that on top of the smooth wall rotate it and then place that on top of the smooth wall like that press b so it should help you round off the corners of the go so place two one slash one times one wedges on top of the smooth wall at the corners and then go and get a teeny floor blueprint and then place two teeny floors to connect them up or fill in the gaps where the one slash one wedges are and that's how you make a simple ghost and then delete the post blueprint and then fill that in with white wood then I'll show you guys how to make the eyes okay so once you've done that go and get three wires and then go and get a wire place it somewhere about here for the eyes and then just drag it down to an appropriate length so mine's going to be about here and then press F and that should be your first eye then go and get another wire and do the same thing calculate the correct distance so that you place the first wire and then drag it down like this doesn't really have to be perfect, I mean, girls don't have to be too perfect. Then go and get another wire and place the face somewhere, let's say here. And then kind of drag it up in a diagonal shape, and then down and up again, and then down again, up and then down, and then press enter or F I don't know and then that should be the mouth of the ghost so again drag the wire up and down in a diagonal shape and that's how you make a ghost the next object I'm going to show you guys how to make is this cauldron okay so next is a cauldron so first what you need to do is go and get a floor blueprint and then place it on the floor and then place a tile blueprint on top of it and then go and get a one slash one wedge and then place one of them at each side so um, you can see you place one there there and there and there also make sure to place it at the very edge of this tile so you can actually fill in the cauldron when it comes to it and then once you've placed the um, wedges at each side go and get a smooth wall blueprint so go and get a short smooth wall blueprint there and then place one of them at each side like this just do it each side and that should be good so once you place the short smooth wall blueprint at each side go and get a post blueprint and then basically place one of these at each side as well 
So on top of the smooth walls, like this. So once you place the post blueprint on top of each one of them, we're just going to show you guys what the blueprints look like. So smooth walls on each side going around and then a post blueprint on top of each smooth wall like that each side. Also one slash one wedges each side going around and a tile on the bottom on top of the smooth wall. Once you've done that, delete the floor blueprint and then fill the cauldron in with brown wood and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Once you've done that, go and get a one slash one wedge and then place four each side um, at the edge of these like smooth walls like that. So one slash one wedge there and place them each side of the cauldron like that going outwards. See the blueprints. And then go and get a one slash one times one wedge blueprint. And then place two wedges each side of the one slash one wedge like this. So place two of them each side like that. Just keep doing it around so it creates like a I'm not sure how to describe the shape, but it makes it look more like a cauldron, honestly. Once you place a one slash one times one wedges each side of these one slash one wedges, go and get a teeny floor blueprint. And then place a teeny floor blueprint in each um, corner to cover up the set gap so you can't see it. Like this. And uh, then once you've done that, fill it in with brown wood, then I'll show you guys how to make the liquid inside the cauldron. Okay, so once you've done that, make sure to fill it in with brown wood. And uh, then to fill in this like cauldron part for the liquid, go and get a tile blueprint. Then rotate and then basically place the tile on top of the smooth wall like this. And then go and get a small tile blueprint and then place two small tiles at the end of there like this. And then go and get a teeny tile blueprint and then place four teeny tiles along here to fill in this gap where the brown wood is. And then over here place another four teeny tiles to go over this gap here. And then once you've done that, fill it in with green wood. So place the tile blueprint there, two small tiles there, and then four tiny tiles on that side, and then another four tiny tiles on that side. And then once you've done that, fill it in with green wood, then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you have filled that in with green wood, you'll need four wires next. So to place them, go and get a teeny floor blueprint. And then basically place the teeny floor blueprint one teeny floor diagonal from the cauldron like this. And then go around and then do the same thing for each side. Place it one teeny floor diagonal from the end of the cauldron. Just keep doing that until you've um, placed all four of them. So once you place teeny floors around for the backing of the wires, go and get a wire. And then basically you do this. So um, place it there, about there in the corner. And then drag it down to the corner of this um, teeny floor like this. And then press finish and then go and get another wire. Move and then do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of place it in the corner about here in the middle-ish and then drag it down to the corner of this um, teeny tile, I mean teeny floor. And then press finish or F and then go and get another wire and then do the same thing. This is just so the wires actually line up with each other because if you try and do it randomly it's, uh, it's a lot harder to try and get them even so I'm just using blueprints to line them up better 
Uh, and then once you've done that, go and get the final wire and then just do it on the last um, teeny tile or teeny floor, which is here. If you want, you can do handles. I just don't think this cauldron needs any handles. And then place it in the corner like that. And then delete these teeny floors, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so that's what the cauldron looks like when it's done. Next thing I'm going to show you guys how to make is this uh, skeleton. Okay, next I'll be showing you guys how to make this a uh, skeleton. Now I know it doesn't look the most uh, realistic, but it's really the best I could do, honestly. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go and get a small floor. And then place three small floor going along like this. And this is for the school. And then once you've done that, go and get a teeny floor. And then place three of them going across like this. So place three of them going across like this. And then place one on the top in the middle like so. Then press B, and that should be the school face. So three small floors going along, three teeny floors up there, and then one teeny floor on top. And then once you've done that, fill it in with white word, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you have filled that in with white word, go and get a teeny tile, and then place five teeny tiles going down here like this for the rib cage. Uh, two teeny tiles, three teeny tiles, four teeny tiles, and then finally five teeny tiles. And then place one there, so it'll be the fourth teeny tile down, and then place another one there, and then scroll like to there, and then place um, another teeny tile there. Make sure to place the teeny tiles at the edge of the fourth teeny tile and not on there because that would look more weird. Then delete that one teeny tile. Put back in and then go and get another teeny tile. And then place on the second teeny tile going downwards like this. Then just do the same thing, place a teeny tile there and then another one alongside it. For some reason it doesn't let me place on the edge, it's like kind of annoying every time I do something like this. Then place another teeny tile there, and then delete this teeny tile. So make sure to place five teeny tiles going down in the middle of the school at the bottom, and then two teeny tiles on the second the teeny tile there, and then another two teeny tiles on this fourth teeny tile there. Then fill it in with white wood, then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, for the final part, go and get two wires and then place them going down the school like this for eyes. And then go and get two post blueprints and then place them at the first teeny tile for arms. So place them next to the first teeny tile, two of them there. Then fill it in with white wood and that will be the arms. And then down here, I'm um, going to place two one slash one times. One wedges at the end of the 15 tile, like that, so two of them. And then go and get two post blueprints and then place them at the end of the wedge blueprints, like this for the legs. And then once you've done that, fill it in with white wood. I'll show you guys how to make the man getting run over by the lawnmower. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this lawnmower. I've already made an old tutorial on this, so I'm just going to edit that into the video and then show you guys how to make like the legs coming out so it saves a lot of time when editing instead of making a new tutorial on how to make the lawnmower. Okay, so I'll edit that in and show you guys how to make the legs. Yes, I'll show you guys how to make this lawnmower. Also, one of my friends designed one called Arnave. It's like a compact design here. We both have different designs, but I think this one's pretty cool. I'll show you guys how to make my lawnmower. Okay, first go and get a floor blueprint. And then place it on the floor like that. 
and then go get wet blueprint one slash one wedge blueprint and then rotate and then place it on top of there like that it's got a load more shape there and then go and get a small power blueprint and then place two on top like that in the middle of the floor blueprint and then go and get a one slash one times one wedge blueprint and basically make a circle on top of the small tiles for like the motor of the lawnmower so like this just rotate it to create like a diamond shape on top of the small tiles like so so once you've done that paint the bottom this floor and this wedge here red and the top motor these wedges and these small tiles white so again floor one slash one wedge two small tiles in the middle and the floor and then four one slash one wedges going around on the small tiles to create the motor once you've done that i'll show you guys how to make the wheels and then the like handle of the one more okay next i'll show you guys how to make the wheels so go and get a teeny tile and then Place one there like that at the front of the one slash one wedge and then place another one there like that place another one there and also another one at the other side for the front wheels so there will be the front wheels of the lawnmower so two of one oh dear it will say fail so the two teeny tiles at this side and also at that side where the one slash one wedge is and at the back side do the same thing but use a small tile and then place two small tiles here at the end of it like so and do my other tiles in the way and also two at the other side and there should be the back wheels so two small tiles at the end of the floor blueprint like that so do it both sides and then that should be the wheels and then fill that in with brown wood then I'll show you guys how to make the last part of the lomo which is the handles okay so once you've done the back wheels of the lomo again fill it in with brown wood then go and get a wedge blueprint go and get four slash four wedge blueprint and then basically place it at the end of the floor like that and this is where you'll place the handle with the wires and stuff so place it four slash four wedge blueprint at the end of the floor blueprint so you can like place the wires and then go and get a single wire and then put the end of the wheel so the teeny tile or the tile and then drag it to the other end as well like that and then press F and then go get another wire and then connect it onto here like that drag this up to about three quarters of the way in fact a bit higher so about here stretch it across to the four slash four wedge and then drag it down to reach the bottom like that and then press finish and then delete the wedge and then that should be how you make a lawn mower okay so once you've done the lawn mower go and get a teeny floor blueprint and then place two teeny floors at the end of the lawnmower like this going down and then a third one as well and then once you've done that leave a one teeny floor space and put another three teeny floor blueprints going down like this and this will be the legs and then once you've done that go and get a one slash one times one wedge and then place a one slash one times one wedge on top of the end at teeny floor blueprint like this so it looks like this feet coming out so I place three teeny floor blueprints going down at the end of the lawnmower and then we'll leave a one teeny floor gap and place another three teeny floors going down and then place two one slash one times one wedges at the end of the teeny floors like that for feet going upwards and then go and get a teeny tile blueprint and basically dot the teeny tile blueprint around here to make it look like blood so i'm just going to do um four of them here and then once you've dotted random teeny tiles around the place to make it look like blood 
Fill them two teeny towels there in with either blue wood, white wood or brown wood for trousers. And the end teeny towels and the end wedges there with either oak wood or elm wood for the skin. So the end teeny towels there will be oak or elm. And the wedges will also be oak or elm wood. And then the colour of the wood will be lava wood. And then once you've done that I'll show you guys around all the objects. Okay, so that's how you make all the Halloween decorations. I'm going to be doing a part two of this video where I make some other decorations. I'm not quite sure what next, but I'm going to think of some. I've got a lawnmower running over a man. Here yeah, I've got a skeleton. Here yeah, I've got a cauldron. Here yeah, and also a kind of spooky ghost. Anyway, that's how you make Halloween decorations. If you found this useful, subscribe and like. Thanks for watching and bye.